Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today you have landed in my 30 Days Thrifting Goodwill series. And today we are in Lakeville. Now this is a Southern suburb, kind of right between St. Paul and Minneapolis. It is an outer ring suburb. And I have never been to this Goodwill. So excited to see what's inside. And if you like thrifting, vintage, creative projects, and more, this is the channel for you. I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around. And don't forget to ring that bell too, because then you'll know when I next upload. Be sure to check out the full 30 Days Thrifting Goodwill playlist. I will link it up here as well as in the description. And yeah, let's head in. Goodwill is one of the most common thrift store chains across the U.S. And here in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, we have a lot of them. And I asked y'all if you would like a thrifting series in Goodwill, and well, by overwhelming majority, you said yes. So come along with me as we go thrifting here in the land of 10,000 lakes. We'll go from store to store, a new store each day, and we'll find some amazing vintage deals, some items we can quickly flip for a profit, and some items to collect. We'll also find some surprises along the way. <laughs> so join me for 30 days thrifting Goodwill. Let's see what's in store. <laughs> okay, y'all, let's go in and let's have a good time thrifting. Now I'm turning towards where I expect to go towards the purses and look, they have like this whole setup here. How cute is this whole thing? And oh my gosh, look at that chair. Look at the fabric on that chair. Oh, that is a steal. That is super duper fun. And oh my God, look at this chair. Look at this one. Hmm. I'm liking this brown fuzzy chair. It spins. Okay, that chair was super duper comfy. Um, looking over here at the display, look at that beautiful piece. Lovely. Now it does not have the stopper, so I am going to leave it behind, but that is a gorgeous piece of glass. I just love it. More pretties. Oh, I love the way this whole section is styled. So fun. This makes the shopping experience just so much better. Look at all that beautiful bright glass. Oh, that purple and that green. Really fun stuff. I really like this area they have styled. Okay, now looking over in the purses. And let's see what I can see. Hmm. Okay, I do spot a cord purse, C-O-R-D-E, but after um, looking at the price and looking it over, um, I do think it's vintage, but it's probably 90s vintage, not like 1930s vintage, so I do pass. And then what is that? I thought it was an owl at first. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> um, looking at this other section of purses... Hmm, let's see what we can see. I do think that one's a bit older. That This one down there, the tapestry one, is kind of neat, but it's not a style I'm looking for. I did check the skirts in this store, and they had some really cute plaid ones, and I thought they were at a great price. I could live my 90s, no doubt, dreams in these. Yes, I could. I thought they were really cute and a really good price. Now over in the furniture section, how great is that hutch? And oh my God, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, <laughs> I, oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. So I, I was not planning on spending this kind of money today, but it's here. It's in front of me. It's a peacock chair in pretty dang good condition right in front of me. Oh goodness. Well, um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to spend this kind of money today. I think this is going to be a quick flip. Y'all, I think I found my throne. 
I had no plans of buying something like this today, but it is amazing. <laughs> Okay, that is a great price on that chair. I know I can double my money. And yeah, I'm I'm very, very excited. Um, I am a little afraid that it's not going to fit in my home. So I want to move it as quickly as possible. So I am going to sell it locally. Um, okay, let's let's check out the art section now. See if there's any any original pieces, any vintage pieces. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Not seeing much. Dang. Or maybe my my eyes were blinded by the peacock chair. <laughs> These are the type of things a lot of people um in my hometown would decorate with. Kind of neat. Love beautiful end caps. Look how cute this is. This is um pretty sure that's a reproduction boudoir lamp. Pretty cute though. Um, I love the blues and purples. All you have to do is colorize an end cap and I am, I am so excited about it. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Look at all the beautiful pinks. How cute is this? Oh, pinks and blues and oh, do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, it's a moon and star lidded dish. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I think I am keeping this one for myself. Yes, that is a good find. Now we are over in the candle section. Um, I do think this is probably mid-century, um, but I am going to pass on it. I didn't see a pair of that. I feel like I'm going to be super picky the rest of this video because we have sound such good stuff already. <laughs> the bar is raised, y'all. The bar is raised. <laughs> oh, goodness. So let's see if I can find anything here. <laughs> Not finding much. Okay, they do have a full aisle of holiday, which is really fun. Um, and I'm always looking, of course, for vintage holiday or anything that catches my eye. And they had what looked like a holiday tea set back there. And how cute is that little poo mug? Oh, I love him. There's some Santas there. Santa and his reindeer. Lots of stuff in there. Lots and lots of stuff in there. Um, it's almost kind of hard to see when it's all piled up like that. Not seeing anything for me yet. Hmm. I love that. Like it's obviously modern, but it has a mid-century look. So if you're doing a mid-century Christmas, that is for you. I think that is really neat. And let's see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that, that's an older Santa. Um, it's not something I'm interested in, but he, he is an older one. So that is a vintage Santa. And look at these two. She's about to hit him with the rolling pin. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, goodness. There's a little Halloween here, which I'm always loving to see. And, oh, this broke my heart. This is such a cool Jim Shore piece, and it is super broken. Super duper broken. So... Um, Jim Shore isn't my style, so I wouldn't keep it for myself. And there's just no point in picking it up when it that when it is that broken. So that that sucked. I I would have picked that up most likely if it was not broken. And let's see what else we got up here. There is this cute little piece. I do think it's older, um, maybe 80s. It is broken. Cute. It might be newer than 80s even. And I love that. I do decorate with black cats, um, but this guy is ginormous, so he's going to stay here. Another beautiful end cap. Some pretty glass on this one. Um, Looks like a Keith Herring cup. Very pretty. I'm loving all of this. Um, Little enamel teapot guy. Ugh, I just, I love pretty end caps. Now we are officially in the knickknack aisle. And look, there is this trio of rabbits, like a cookie jar. 
Oh, it's a hobbyist piece. That's neat. I don't think I've ever seen that. Now, here's something interesting. Okay, see how it's 1990 on that plate? Reminder, Victorian hobbies and all kinds of stuff got really popular in the 90s. So sometimes those painted plates are just hobbyist pieces from the 90s. So keep that in mind. Um, those are super cute. Sometimes I pick up the ones that are more detailed. We got some home co-bears back there. They look like they might be holiday. Lots and lots of resin figurines in this aisle I'm seeing. Lots of resin figurines. Um, that was kind of neat. It looked like a napkin holder and it looked um, like, you know, stone. It was just, it was kind of neat. Ugh, there will be something broken on this. There will be. There is always something broken on these. And somebody had already peeled up the tag. Yep, that's what I thought. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is broken. So they're always broken. Never fails. Um, let's see what else. Anything else in the knickknack aisle? Yeah, just lots of resin figurines of, of like ethnicities and beliefs and topics, just precious moments. You know, none of these things I'm super interested in. Pretty clear glass piece. I thought that was a beautiful piece and I thought the price was good on that as well. I liked this. Um, it's probably for incense. Another beautiful clear glass piece. I really liked that. Cute little figurine back there, but I just, I don't see any real profit on it. Oh, 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 look at these cuties. Oh, they look to be in good condition. Okay, nope, I found something. We are taking those cuties with us. I dig them. <laughs> All right, let's see, anything else? Oh, that's a mid-century ashtray right there. Hmm. <laughs> now we are over in like the kitchen stuff. See what we can see over here. I love when they group these things together. Ugh, that's so much nicer because then it's priced for the whole set. It's not overpriced. Pieces don't get lost. Just, yes, group those together. It makes more sense. You can tell I'm just hovering by the teapots, can't you? <laughs> Resist the urge, Catherine. You do not need another teapot. <laughs> These trays are always pretty cheaply made, um, so I do pass on them when I see them. Now we're in some clear glass. These back here are beautiful, but they're huge and they're very, very common. So I do not pick them up, um, but they're beautiful. Thought that was neat. I think it goes with like that boopy uh, glass pattern. It might be like a punch bowl or something. Really fun piece. I don't think I've ever seen that piece before. Yeah, and I think that's about it. Now we are in the vases, and honestly, they have some really beautiful vases. I like that one. It reminds me of like Tim Burton, the stripy one. <laughs> I mean, they're beautiful. I just, I'm not really seeing anything for me. That's all. Um, nothing that screams vintage. Beautiful glass up top, right? Look at that purple. Some really striking ones up top. Look at this gorgeous orange end cap. I finally just realized that uh, this Goodwill store did all the colors of the rainbow for pride this month and their end caps. I finally just figured that out now. How cute is that? <laughs> what a cutie. <laughs> we are checking out the metal aisle. Yes, we are. Now, this line is pretty cool. They make a lot of like vintage throwback stuff. Really great for a vintage kitchen. I think those vintage throwback uh, pieces are really great when you can't find the exact vintage item you're looking for. You can fill the hole in your collection until you find the right piece. 
Now we're in the mugs and ooh, love it, love it, love it. It's a Germany mug. I'm totally getting this. Now the forget me not, you can think about that as death or you can just think about it as love. I uh, collect a lot of creepy stuff, so you can guess which team I'm on. <laughs> Uh, checking out wood items. I thought that was neat. It's probably like a home goods piece, but it had a cool look. This was a good find. You almost never find these with all their coasters in it. So that was kind of neat. Um, that would be a good find for somebody. And there's the cart. <laughs> Once I paid, they just had me go pick up the chairs. So here we go, y'all. Is it going to fit in the car? That is the major question. <laughs> Oof, <duh. laughs> Ah, as y'all can see, it fit in the vehicle. Oh my goodness. This was definitely one of those things that I've kind of always wanted to find thrifting and I found it. So that's really exciting. Um, I plan to sell it on Facebook Marketplace locally. Probably double what I paid for it, if not more, which is amazing. Ugh, talk about a thrifter high right there. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it. I will see you on the next one. Stay creative. Bye. So I got home and the only space for the chair was my entryway. So I took pictures of it, noted um, different angles, the size, any damage that was on it. And I listed it on Facebook Marketplace and it sold within two hours. Um, I listed it less than what they usually go for in this area, but hey, I no longer have that chair in my entryway. I call that a success. <laughs>